Hello, you fellow musicians and gamers out there. This is Kleiner Gaming here, and I am back once again with another part of Let's Play Tekken 3. Now, this is going to be quite interesting, actually, because I've got quite a lot to talk about with this next character that I'm going to be playing as, and it is none other than Yoshimitsu. Now, the reason why I want to talk about him quite a lot, guys, is because there's quite a lot of interesting theories floating around about Yoshimitsu, because I mentioned in the last part that he didn't really look that human. One. Based on his appearance. And oh, well, Nina's taking the fight to me quite early. Okay, Nina walked right into those kicks there, I can't believe that. But yeah, like his appearance doesn't look that human. It makes him look more like a robot, if you ask me, but I actually looked up a theory video recently about Yoshimitsu and uh, why he looks like what he is. And I think the reason why is because he's still human, however, parts of his body, like, I mean, like, especially, like, his arm and stuff like that ended up being, I think he ended up, like, especially, like, his winning pose right there, the, like, what he said there, it sounds like he's suffering under that. I don't know. Round one. But f I think, as well, he, he's linked to the Soul Calibur series, Yoshimitsu. I have no idea how you can do the uh, shark attack with the triangle and square buttons. I always thought it was... See, when I did the shark attack in Tekken 2, I did the circle and X buttons, triangle and square buttons, and circle and X buttons. But yeah, Yoshimitsu's story here. Now, in the last story that he had, well, back 19 years ago in Tekken 2, uh, he, his main uh, feud was with uh, Kunimitsu, who we never saw again until one of the, uh, the Tekken Tag Tournament games. I believe it was Tekken Tag Tournament... One, I think, that she made her appearance in after that, but her latest appearance was in uh, Tekken Tag Tournament 2, which is quite recent, actually. About 2014, I think, about two years ago, is when she, uh, her last appearance was. But the reason why uh, uh, he's in Tekken 3 is because he rescued uh, Dr. Boskonovich, or Dr. B, as he's called, in uh, Tekken 3. Uh, in short, and the reason why he's there is because he wants to, like, uh, you know, get a sample of uh, Ogre's blood to, to help him, I think. And they, they want to test it out first. That's the reason why he's in the tournament, and why wow, that was quite a flip that Jin did there. Yeah, a very huge flip. It depends, really, like, it depends on how severe the flip is. Say, for example, like, if they're going for a move, and I counter that, like, I counter attack that, that does a lot of damage. Oh, I forgot about this attack, actually. Oh my god, really? You walked right into that, Jin. You... <laughs> yeah, see the AI here in Tekken 3? They are not as smart as they were in Tekken 2. Whenever I tried to do a sword attack with Yoshimitsu on my opponents in Tekken 2, they always avoided it, no matter what. So, I cannot believe that Jin just fell for that. That was quite uh, uh, humiliating, I've got to say, for, for Jin. <laughs> yeah. I've got to expect that they're going to counter that shark attack just by one punch now. Ah! Okay. But yeah, that's the reason why Yoshimitsu's in this tournament. And based on his appearance here, a lot of people say this is uh, like his... I want to use this gas on you. Come on, have a taste of my wonderful gas! Oh god! <laughs> See, I'm not sure what this attack is. I think that's like poisonous gas or something that I, uh, that I breathed on the uh, lay there. See, I don't know what Yoshimitsu is saying there. Ah, no. No, Lee. You're not doing this to me today. Have some more of that. Yeah, that's quite damaging. Wow. But yeah, Yoshimitsu is one of my favourite characters in this game. As a matter of fact, in the Tekken series as a whole. Just because of the way he is. Like, you know, his moveset and everything. It just makes him unstoppable. But then if you've ever played the Tekken series, uh, what are your thoughts on Yoshimitsu as a character? And we've got another character here, Brian Fury, his name is. This is an unlockable character, and uh, he, he's new to the Tekken series. He was first introduced in this game. And I'll need to look up exactly what his main story is before I get to him. But as far as goes for Yoshimitsu, that's, what, that's his main story there. But talk a little bit, a brief history about Yoshimitsu. He used to be like a, a member of this clan called... Uh, the... what was it called? I know he was part of a clan, but I've forgotten the name of it. I, I think it was called a... Like, what they basically do is they 
they rob from the the rich and they give to the poor. It's kind of like Yoshimish is kind of like the Robin Hood of this game. Like he steals from the rich and he gives it to the poor. That's what he what he does in in the the series. The Miyu Jutsu Clan, I think that's what it is, or Minja Jutsu Clan, I think that's what it's called. See, I'm getting along a, a lot, getting on a lot better with Yoshimitsu than I did with uh, with uh, Ling Chayo, and as soon as Jack does stops doing that little kick, yeah, there we go. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. But yeah, Tekken, Tekken 1, I think, uh, you see a big, uh, another no uh, known fact about Yoshimish as well, is he used to watch uh, sumo wrestling, and Gan Ryu, who was one of the characters in the first two Tekken games, he used to be quite a fan of him, but until he heard about Gan Ryu's uh, greediness, that's when he stopped being a fan of him, and he feuded with him in Tekken 1, uh, because he had, uh, like, stolen a lot of money, and uh, Yoshimish decided to give that back to the poor. And then in Tekken 2, he fought against uh, Kunimitsu because uh, Kunimitsu uh, wanted to get uh, Yoshimitsu's sword for herself. I think... I'm not sure why that was. I think it was like for Kunimitsu's grandfather, I think. And as we're fighting off against King here, one of my other favourite characters in the Tekken series. Uh, we'll t I'll talk about King more when I play as, as him and talk about the history of why the King's name has changed here. Ah. Come on. Do you know what? It, oh, well, okay, that was quite awkward. Ah, no. King, there we are. That's it. So, what else to say? What was it? Yeah, but Kunimitsu, yeah, like uh, the, she wanted that sword of Yoshimitsu, and uh, then uh, Yoshimitsu, I believe, well, he didn't win the tournament. Obviously, it was Heihachi, but I'm not sure if he fought against Kazuya because, like, he he managed to rescue Doctor Bosconovich. So I'm not sure if. Oh, what's this move? Okay, right, crap, that's no good. Power bomb after power bomb, oh. Oh no. Well, I thought he was going to do the uh, the flip kicks or something like that. But thank goodness he didn't, otherwise I would have been dead right away. Who's stage A? Oh, Anna! Okay, that's interesting. I've got Anna stage A here. Round one. Looking as uh, pretty as ever, Anna, but I've got to get rid of you because you're in my way of uh, getting uh, Ogre's blood. No, you don't. I want to do that um, the ulti that tackle move to Anna because um, I know that Yoshimitsu uses his sword uh, instead of the instead of like punching his opponent or his or her opponent. Like, what am I, what am I saying? No, his opponent. Oh no, no, Anna. Not today. You clearly do not want any of my poisonous gas, and I completely understand that. Ah, there we go, that's it. And that's it, right, okay, hey Hachi. So hopefully, hey Hachi, you will not give me a hard time as you did with uh, when I played as uh, Ling Chai You see, he tried to go for moving me already, right, let's see. Oh, I never managed to do the ultimate tackle to him, oh, never mind. At least I got a charging move on him. Oh no, crap. Right, okay, I think I'm gonna... No! Oh, okay, crap, right. I'm not playing around. Oh, and I think I may have made him mad. I think he actually... Yeah, he, he's started the kind of my moves, and now he's... Ah. No, you don't. You're not getting me that easily. See, the annoying thing is, right, Kazuya in Tekken 2 is nowhere near as hard as, Te as uh, Heihachi is in Tekken 3. Maybe I I'm just not that good with uh, Ling Chayo in Tekken 3. But how long has this been... Oh my goodness, that's been 10 minutes. Wow, this has been the fastest time I've recorded with Round with uh, well, in Tekken 3 so far. Oh, cra crap. Maybe speaking too soon already, because Ogre is uh, currently dominating me. He's like, you want my blood? You're gonna have to get past me. You're gonna have to get me down first. Of course, Ogre. That's uh, that's obviously what I'm gonna have to do to get. Oh crap! Right. Round two. Hopefully, I don't lose to Ogre here because I mean that'd be quite embarrassing if I did. Oh. Okay. Well, maybe not embarrassing, but that was quite a good move I did there with Yoshimitsu. 
Oh, come on. Do you know what I need? Yeah, I've also actually, I, I've forgotten to mention this about Ogre. He's uh, proclaimed that uh, he's the uh, Mexican god. That, that That's what he, I think he call, calls himself. Okay, crap. No. Stop stealing Kuma's moves. Those are Kuma's moves, not your moves. How can you call yourself uh, the Mexican god if you're... Oh, god damn it. Alright, then we'll Ogre defeat me. Round one. Oh no, no. You're not gonna steal any of my moves, Ogre. Okay, crap, right, that's not good. I just like the like the moons that Yoshimitsu does is quite mysterious. Ah! I should have rolled to the side to avoid that. Yeah, he, he is not uh, stupid, unlike uh, Jin, who ran right into my sword attack. Really? How did that not hit? Okay. Okay, I don't know why he just did that, because that, that just made him stand still. Unless if I go close to him, then uh, that way if I... Oh, crap. Right, yes, there we go. Avoided him. As long as I roll to the side, then that's fine. Okay, good. Oh, damn it! Okay, I'm having a really hard time with Ogre right now. Round one. Fight. No. No, you don't. Oh, that was quite a good one. I like that all the, these moves that Yoshimitsu does. It's very uh, powerful. Oh, I forgot about it, yeah. Oh, I oh, I did not expect to do that move. Well, I kicked him and I just slashed him. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's definitely going to be mad now. I just slayed the ogre. And I've got one good line to finish this off. After I've uh, beaten True Ogre here and yet he picks up Heihachi's body once again. And, lo and behold, he transforms into True Ogre. Okay, I have no idea how I hit him there. See, like, True Ogre's hitbox is so weird, but probably because he's so big. That's why his hitbox is kind of weird. At least, uh, in my estimation, anyway. Oh no, that's not good. Right. Ah! No, he don't. And, oh, it's about to, oh, god damn it. I was about to say, I'm not gonna say it yet. As long as it, when I beat you, then I'll say my uh, famous line for when every time I beat you now. Because I, I can't believe I never said this in the first part. Right, okay, no. Yeah, there we go. Right, now is my chance to say it. True Ogre, it's all Ogre for you now. That's all I can say to you. You win. And that's it. So now we'll get to watch uh, Yoshimitsu's ending. And I mentioned before how they wanted uh, Ogre's blood. Yeah, there it is there. So they got a sample of that. And they wanted to test that out on that uh, lab rat right there. And he's drinking it and we'll see, and, uh, see what happens. See, we can already tell like, they're running out. It's like something's wrong with it. And it turns them into a giant rat. <laughs> So clearly that would not. So clearly that would not help Yoshimitsu one bit. So that was it for part two, guys, of my Tekken Three Let's Play, where I played as Yoshimitsu. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like if you enjoyed. Comment down below for your thoughts, and also please feel free to hit that subscribe button for more Tekken Three videos coming soon as well. So until then, guys, this is Quinnigame here signing off. And next time I come back, I shall be playing as Nina. So until then guys, this is Quantic Game here signing off, hope you all have a great day wherever you are, and I shall speak to you later. Until then, goodbye.